Hello, my name's Russell Arnott. I'm a researcher here at the University of Bath, so I research plankton, which are the tiny little things that float around in the sea. Why do you think it's important that we study the oceans? Well, first of all, we, well, we're used to calling this planet Earth. We should really call it planet water. There's always the statistic that's thrown around that 70% of the planet is covered with water. Sea turtles, whales, sharks and octopuses. Octopi? These are some of the most interesting and charismatic animals on Earth. And they are perfect to facilitate learning about science. Down on the Falkland Islands, I visited Bertha's Beach. Even though it was a cold grey day, I was still able to fit in some wild swimming before heading inland to one of the many Gentoo penguin colonies. Gotta love the chicks. <laughs> en route to the Antarctic, we were granted shore leave on the island of South Georgia, where I got to see fur seals and king penguins, explore an abandoned whaling station and visit the grave of polar explorer Ernest Shackleton. Hello, um, I thought I'd come here today and talk to you about two of my favourite things, having to be ocean and space. We're at the National Oceanography Centre, where the RRS James Cook has come alongside for a few weeks. My name is Sophia. My name's Russell, and I've got to say, Sophia, I'm super excited about getting on board this boat. The James Cook is one of the flagships of British research. It discovered the world's deepest underwater volcano. It weighs almost 6,000 tonnes and it cost £36 million pounds to build. We hope you enjoy learning about the marine environment as much as we do.